Odkryłam powód, dla którego na dłoni pojawia się litera M. Okazuje się, że tylko niektóre osoby tak mają. Spójrz teraz na swoje dłonie. Czy litera M pojawia się u Ciebie na obu dłoniach? Czy tylko na jednej, a może wcale? Daj znać w komentarzu, do której grupy należysz. Dłoń, na której pojawia się litera, ma znaczenie. Chiromancja, czyli czytanie z linii dłoni, praktykowane było już w starożytnej Grecji. Według nich są dwie dłonie, pasywna oraz bierna. Bierna to ręka, którą używamy podczas pisania. Jeśli to na niej pojawia się litera, oznacza to silny charakter. Żeby ją dostrzec, należy spojrzeć na linię życia, która jest najbliżej kciuka. Powinna ona łączyć się z linią głowy. Następnie przechodzić w linię przeznaczenia. Ostatnią linią składającą się na tą literę powinna być widoczna linia serca. Jest to bardzo rzadki symbol, który zwiastuje szczęście i powodzenie. Linie papilarne tworzące literę M zdarzają się u ludzi wyjątkowo hojnie obdarowanych przez los. Są to osoby, które osiągają sukces w pracy. Często wybierają karierę wpływającą na ludzi, takie jak dziennikarstwo, polityka lub finanse. Litera M na dłoni występowała u wielkich proroków i przywódców. Liczba linii na nadgarstku powie wszystko o Twoim życiu. Lepiej, żebyś miał więcej niż dwie. Niektórzy wierzą, że linie papilarne na rękach i dłoniach nie są przypadkowe. Lekko zakrzywione linie znajdujące się na wewnętrznej części ręki są nazywane liniami raseta. Według niektórych wskazują one, ile lat będziemy żyć. Jeśli pierwsza linia nadgarstka ma znaczną grubość i jest niewykazująca załamań, można przypuszczać, że wskazuje ona wiek między 23 a 28 lat. Jeśli jest słabo widoczna, może sugerować potencjalne problemy zdrowotne. Druga linia sygnalizuje wiek między 46 a 56 lat. Przypisuje się jej znaczenie związane z bogactwem, szczęściem i dobrobytem. Jeśli jest wyraźnie zaznaczona, wskazuje na osiągnięcia finansowe. Trzecia linia nadgarstka oznacza 64-89 lat życia. Przypisuje się jej karierę i sukces. Osoba wpływowa będzie miała grubą i nieprzerwaną prostą linię. Czwarta linia oznacza ponad 84 lata życia. Jest dość rzadką linią, ponieważ większość z nas ma je dwie lub trzy. A ty ile linii masz na swoim nadgarstku? Spread cinnamon in front of the house door. The next day, you won't believe the results. Cinnamon is a spice used in the kitchen, but it's also attributed with esoteric abilities. Ancient priests believed it had a significant impact on human life. Pour a generous amount of salt into a bowl. Salt has both cleansing properties. Sprinkle a tablespoon of cinnamon on top. If you feel like you have bad luck in life and nothing is going well, Try this method from our grandmothers. Peel three cloves of garlic and insert them into the cinnamon, just as I do in the video. Finally, don't forget to add a bay leaf. Insert it in the middle of the bowl. The prepared mixture not only protects and attracts luck, but also repels insects with its fragrance. Cockroaches, mice, flies, and moths will avoid your home. Place the prepared bowl behind the front door of your house It will protect the residents from negative energy. If you have problems with nightmares or insomnia, place the bowl by the bed. It will purify the atmosphere in the bedroom. If you have financial problems, the next trick is for you. Pour a tablespoon of cinnamon into plastic wrap or a bag. Tie it tightly to prevent spills. Place this small package in your wallet or purse. Protective cinnamon sachets carried with you attract and protect money. Cinnamon is considered an essential element in financial luck magic. Did you know about the hidden properties of cinnamon? Do you believe in magic? Spread salt in front of the door of your house and place a doormat on it. The next day, you'll be rubbing your eyes in amazement. It turns out that salt has many positive uses that you can take advantage of at home. In this video, I'll show you the most interesting ones. Pour salt into a bowl. It has strong cleansing properties. Fill the bowl halfway with salt. Then take a garlic bulb. Cut off its top. Its intense smell has repellent properties. Place it right in the center of the bowl. Take dried bay leaves. Insert them evenly around the garlic. Do it carefully. Insert them one-third of the way up. Place the prepared bowl next to the entrance door. 
it turns out that it has great power. Its practical effect is that it repels pests. Ants, spiders, and cockroaches will avoid the house with a wide berth. The intense smell of garlic and bay leaves acts as an irritant to them. Naturally, protect your home from pests. However, it turns out that our grandmothers also believed in the purifying power of such bowls. They sprinkled salt in front of the house doors to protect it from evil forces and energy. The next day, they would sweep and throw it away. The second salt trick is also interesting. Take a lime and cut it in half. Then, cut off the tip so that it lies steadily. Put the fruit in a bowl and sprinkle it with salt. Place it under the bed and leave it overnight. It turns out that aromatherapy using lime effectively reduces stress. Just put it in the bedroom and go to sleep. The scent will make you calmer, facilitate falling asleep, and positively impact the quality of sleep. During winter, I always have a newspaper in my car. Might sound strange, but once you understand why, you might adopt the habit too. Old newspapers, it turns out, possess some remarkable qualities many people are unaware of. In the winter, our cars often accumulate moisture, especially from the melting snow on our shoes. If you don't want to invest in rubber mats, a simple folded newspaper under the floor mat works wonders. It absorbs the moisture effectively, and you can easily swap it out every few days. Not only does it address the moisture issue, but it also prevents the floor mat from slipping during drives. Simply place it under the car seat or above the trunk. Your windows won't fog up, even in winter. Foggy windows can be a nuisance. If your car has too much moisture, this trick will come in handy. Put it in a carafe or jar and stretch it over the opening. Prepare some dry, white rice. Pour it into the inside of a sock. Rice has brilliant properties as a natural water absorber. Additionally, it eliminates unpleasant odors. Tie the end of the sock with an elastic band. Place the prepared sock in the car. You can tuck it under the seats. If you're dealing with a foggy rear window, place it on the parcel shelf above the trunk. There's no airflow in that area, so the rice will effectively handle the condensation. Although this trick may seem simple, it really works. Replace the rice in the sock once a month. Are you having trouble with your car doors freezing? This trick will solve it in seconds. During winter, door seals can stiffen, stick, or even crack. The plastic parts can be damaged in sub-zero temperatures. That's why, in the early days of winter, it's essential to lubricate them. You can use regular cosmetic Vaseline for this task. Apply the product to your finger and lubricate the seals with it. This will make them firm and resistant to frost. Make sure to thoroughly apply the Vaseline to the seals on the doors as well. Do you have Vaseline at home? Did you know you can use it for car care? A simple potato can work wonders, especially in winter. Take a potato half and rub it on your car windows. The starch it leaves behind prevents water and snow from sticking, proving invaluable during intense precipitation. This trick ensures a clear view without streaks from rain, enhancing overall road safety. Take WD-40 and spray it on that car part, ideally before the coldest weather hits. This simple step can save you a lot of hassle. WD-40, with its multiple uses, proves valuable to keep in your car during winter. If you've dealt with frozen locks and freezing temperatures, you know regular de-icers don't always cut it. That's why a preemptive spray of WD-40 on the lock can work wonders. It quickly fills the lock's internal components, safeguarding it from water and freezing. Taking just a few seconds, this task can spare you plenty of frustration on frosty winter mornings.